Indeed, my people, Frederick Neolard and his beautiful wife, Peggy Ovire, actually know how to put wahala, how to put confusion in the mind and the brain of their haters. <laughs> hey, what I'm going to say in this video is going to shock you. And this is what is actually happening at the moment as Frederick and Peggy is in U.S. Texas for a summer break. They actually know how to press the neck of the haters. This video you are watching now, guys, Peggy traveled within USA to go and see her old time friend after 15 years have been communicating and they have not get to see each other one on one face to face. But now she is in the state and her friend invited her. But something shocking happened at the comment section. I don't even know why haters are really trying by all means to make sure they scatter this amazing union. But one thing for sure I know is that Peggy and Frederick, they no care, they no send them. They actually know on how to press the neck, the neck of the haters. They know how to put confusion in the brain and in the mind of the haters because many of them never believe that Peggy and Frederick are together in U.S. So many of them are trying to bring so many narrative at the internet that Peggy traveled to a different state. Why? Frederick is in another country altogether. But as I speak to you guys at the moment, Peggy and Frederick are together, are together. Remember, since they traveled, they have not showed us their picture or their video together. They'll be doing their separate business just to put confusion in the mind of their haters, just to make sure that they give them what to talk about. They have not, we have not seen them together. Even the meet and greet, Peggy was not there. They are just keeping their separate life in cool while they are enjoying themselves secretly in U.S. We have not seen a picture or a video of Peggy and Frederick together. That is why many haters believe that they both travel to different countries, whereas they are in the same country, USA, for a summer holidays. My people, I want to walk you guys through to what online in-laws are really saying that really got my attention in this video that Peggy shared where she went to visit her friend. Okay, keep on watching. Let's go more in detail. Please don't skip any part of this because the end of this video is going to shock you. What haters are dropping at the internet is going to shock you. That's why I said, please watch to the very end of this video. Let's go there immediately. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification. Okay. Okay, guys. The first comment we have here said... Me no come understand this one. Where wife go travel her own, then her husband go still travel in own different way. Are you guys still married? So I beg, make una tell us, make we for know where we day now. Hmm. Have you seen what I said? Many people believe that at the moment that Frederick and Peggy are not in US together, and so many of them believe that they are having issues. Do you get that? Many of them believe they are having issue and they are not together anymore and they did not travel to U.S. together. That is why they just have to keep it off the media. You can see we have not seen picture or video of them together. Even the meet and greet, Peggy was not there. It was only Frederick who was there live. They are just trying to give online in-laws topic or they, they are just trying to give them work, what to talk about, like jobless people to create more jobs for them. You know, at the moment, many are really jobless. They are just looking for any slightest mistake to throw a celebrity, to drag a celebrity. Okay, guys, keep on watching. You are going to be shocked over what people are saying about Peggy and Frederick. Keep on watching to the very end of this video. And right over here, this person wrote, media, social media people, they go pray for you, may una get married. After, then go pray, make them divorce. Social media. Una go pray, make people marry. After, una go start to pray again, make them divorce. Wait till you gain if they divorce. Wait till you gain. Wait till you gain. Oh, this is really a true life story going on. The media people, they will drag you away when you never marry. They will even pretend to pray for you to marry. But when you get married, now them go see the pray, may you divorce. Imagine. Just look at what is going on in the life of Peggy and Frederick. Let's go more in detail. You will be shocked, my people. Okay, my people. And right over here, this person wrote, Sorry, oh, not being rude. Where is your wedding ring? Hmm. Look at the kind of question you are asking a married woman who traveled with her husband. That the husband endorsed her 
to go and meet and greet with her friend after 15 years. <laughs> Remember, the first comment we have here said, Classy is noiseless. Go get, go and have fun, go and enjoy yourself. Coming from Frederick, her, her husband. And then here Peggy replied, Thank you, my film lord. Tall for sure. I'm going to have fun. I will enjoy myself. And here this low life person is commenting, Sorry, not being rude. Where is your wedding ring? Who are you to ask her about her wedding ring? Hey, 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 my people, let's open this comment section to see how people are really reacting to this because I know this is one of the people who really want the end of this marriage, who are praying for the end of this marriage. And this, pers and this person replied by saying, you are thinking what I am thinking. These are best of the same feather. The group praying to see the end of this beautiful marriage. Another said, ring the your papa center table button. I love this response. Ring the your papa center table. Go and carry it. Go and wear it. Another said, I don't even understand them again. Me, I don't quickly untap a bag. Hey, these are them. Now then be this so. I don't even understand them again. Me, I don't kukuma quickly untap a bag. On tap, who sent you? Peggy and Frederick don't even know that you exist. On tap, because uh, you can't even tap their grace because their grace will never come to you because you are an enemy. Another said, she left it in your handbag. Nee. That's a rude question. Exactly. Go and pick that wedding ring in your handbag. She left it for you there. Another said, when Una take manners, why insulting my dad? Can't you talk without insults? Or go by you there. When you drop a senseless comment, why would somebody call your dad? Another said, why are you calling his father's name? What's wrong with you people safe? And why must she ask a married woman about her wedding ring? A woman that travels with her husband. Even if she's not wearing it or anything happened, it's none of your business. Again, this person said, she and Frederick are currently in the U.S. as we speak. Exactly. Frederick and Peggy are so smart. They are just trying to put confusion in the camp of their enemy, in the midst of their enemies. And I love it. And I'm loving it because I've never shown us a picture or a video of them together in U.S. But they are there at the moment in U.S. Another said, it's not always about ring. People cheat with those rings on. Her husband even commented on this very post and they are both in US. You guys are following. Yeah. This one say, oh, share ring. CCTV. No be small something. This one are really CCTV for another person's wife. Cry me a river. Keep on crying. Okay, now. Another said, okay, thank you for the responsible comment. Another said, why not concentrate on your life, family, and your own ring? Exactly. Concentrate on your own marriage or, or your own ring and leave another person alone. Hmm. Okay, this one say, go and ask your grandfather, Mugu, no be small something, eh? Cry me a river, period. Cry me an auction. Hey, hey, hey. On top, Peggy post to ring or no ringo. Now people won't find themselves just like this. These are really indeed an enemy of progress. That is to show you guys that many really want the end of this peaceful marriage. You are helping her to keep it as you can't mind your own business. Exactly. Help her to keep the ring since you can't mind your business. Trying to defend someone by insulting another gaze that makes you better. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is the next. This is the next marriage. You enemies of good marriage are waiting to see to crash next. But unfortunately, all of you will continue to wait in vain. Exactly, they will wait and wait and wait and get old, and this marriage will will still be standing firm like without shaking. <laughs> okay I just say inside your nose the ring is inside your nose hmm. it's in her backyard no be small something it's your future go and find it hey I love this comment that wedding ring is your future please go and look for it <laughs> go find it why will you even ask her that the wedding now both when I get them, I don't understand. Why will you ask a married woman about her wedding ring? Now, too often I get the marriage. Now, too often I get the wedding ring. I don't even understand. What's rude about this place? Why is it so hard for people to mind their business? I don't even know. Is the wedding ring your own? 
Is it your wedding ring? Why is it hard for many people to mind their business? Let me tell you, these people are praying secretly to see the end of this marriage because I see no reason why you'd be prognosing, following up a married woman up and down to check when she is putting on her wedding ring or not. You must tap oh, that first tap. <laughs> Don't <laughs> go heaven. <laughs> My people, hey, it's your own missing. Rest in peace. Ah, it's your own wedding ring missing. Please rest in peace. <laughs> hey, those prophets of doom, it's their own, it's their own marriage that we crash, not the one of Peggy and Frederick. My people, as you can see what is going on at the internet, all because that Peggy traveled without a wedding ring and someone that has a CCTV captured it and have to tell the whole world. Um, and I love the kind of response from so many fans of Frederick and Peggy, my people. What do you have to tell this person? Eh? Because eh, the rate that people are praying are praying to see the end of this marriage is now alarming. It's not getting out of hand. Please share with us your own thoughts at the comment section about this that happened, about this comment from so many haters who really want the end of this marriage. What do you want to tell them? Please kindly leave your own opinion down in the comment section. Don't forget for more updates like this. Please do well to subscribe and turn on your bell notification. God bless you so much for watching.